In this video, we're going to look at the tax multiplier. First, let's derive the tax multiplier. With the existence of the government and taxes, we have AE equals C plus I plus G. We can define consumption as A plus B times the quantity of Y minus T. Now let's break down all of these variables. Y is the aggregate income or output. C is aggregate consumption. I is aggregate planned investment. G is government spending. A is a constant. B is the MPC, or marginal propensity to consume. T represents taxes. And the quantity of Y minus T that we see in the aggregate consumption equation is the after-tax or disposable income. At the equilibrium, we define that Y equals AE, or aggregate income or output equals planned aggregate expenditures. Since AE equals C plus I plus G, we can also say that Y equals C plus I plus G. We can break down the aggregate consumption, or C, into A plus B times the quantity Y minus T. So now we have Y equals A plus B times the quantity Y minus T plus I plus G. After distributing the B, or MPC, to the quantity of Y minus T, and subtracting the term BY from the right side and the left side, we find that Y minus BY equals A minus BT plus I plus G. After factoring out the Y in the left-hand side of the equation, we have the quantity of 1 minus B times Y equals A plus the negative value of BT plus I plus G. After dividing the quantity 1 minus B from both sides of the equation, we find that Y star, or the equilibrium aggregate income or output, equals the quantity of 1 over 1 minus B times the quantity A plus I plus G, minus the quantity of B over 1 minus B times T. Now this factor of the negative B over 1 minus B is the tax multiplier, where B equals the MPC, or marginal propensity to consume. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.